everybody so i wanted to come to you guys with another video and this one i'm going to call hmm, the apples and the trees from which they fall and i'm going to talk a little bit about yaya mayweather who is the daughter of floyd mayweather and nba young boy who she is i guess dating okay his wife quote unquote anyway um yaya her name is ayana buck Yaya is facing up to 99 years in jail because she allegedly stabbed NBA young boys, baby, one of his baby mamas. Now, um, it's been about a week and a half, I guess, or something like that. So basically she was arrested, um, when she was at NBA young boys house I guess she came to his house or something like that. And LaPatra, that's the young lady on the right, she was there. Remember, this is one of his baby mamas who he's probably still messing with, right? So anyway, uh, Yaya demanded that LaPatra leave and LaPatra wouldn't leave. And that prompt, prompted a physical altercation between the two of them. And I guess the, the things got crazy and it moved into the kitchen. And so Yaya decides to grab two kitchen knives and charge at this young lady, resulting in uh, stab wounds all over her arms. And this woman had to be rushed to the hospital. And it and they are some people are reporting that she had to have emergency surgery. Okay, and so of course, <laughs> Yaya was arrested. Okay, this is assault. It, it could even be called attempted murder, but this is assault, and she is facing some serious jail time, all over some foolishness over a dude okay and um the reason why like i said i'm calling this the apples and the trees is because it's interesting to me that this young lady is a as a young girl of um privilege okay floyd mayweather has millions on top of millions on top of millions and then on top of that he got millions of dollars and all she literally had to do with her life is inhale and exhale and she, she, she just got money pouring out her ass. And yet she decides to get with an NBA young boy, a, a boy, or I should say a young man who is alleged to have herpes because that's the word on the curb is that he has herpes. And again, he got about five kids and he was still messing around with other women as he was seeing her. Okay. But she is so enthralled and enamored with this man and so in love with this man that she is willing to stab and possibly go to jail over it. And, you know, first things first, I don't want to be over judgmental to her because we have all done stupid shit when we were young, right? We've all fallen for something, somebody that we shouldn't have been with, you know, you know, girls, we like the little bad boys and stuff. Just, you know, your mama telling you something, telling like, stay away from this and this, but you just got to be with them. You just, you just so in love. So on one hand, I understand that sometimes we get caught up in situations we have no business in, but not to the extent of I'm going to go and do time because you got another woman in this house. Now, her parents are Melissa Irene and Floyd Mayweather, okay? And when all of this happened and Yaya had to appear in court the other day, um, this was uh, Melissa saying, got your back forever as they were walking out of court. I guess they had somebody recording them, right? And Floyd posted this saying, he never claimed to be perfect, but I strive to be the best father possible. Now, when it comes to her parents, I think to myself, when... Melissa's sitting there saying, I got your back. But where has Melissa been all this time? This girl was with this dude and shit was happening because she's been messing with NBA young boy for a minute, for a minute. And for it to get to that point, this girl is 19 years old. For it to get to that point, you know, did Melissa and Floyd drop the ball here? Okay, instead of saying, I got your back, maybe you should have been leading her. Okay, she's still a young girl. She's a teenager. She is 19. She is still a teenager. She needs someone to lead her. And then while Floyd's sitting here showing off his closet on Instagram, right, people are thinking to myself, Floyd, 
don't you got other things you really need to prioritize, you know, instead of showing off your grandiose closet, of course, in the middle of a pandemic, when all these people are losing their jobs and shit, but you know, to each his own, that's his right. He can do what he wants. He can post what he want to post. But a lot of people feel like, dude, you completely ignoring the fact that your daughter is facing serious time. Now, I'm certain that with a good lawyer that her daddy's going to pay for, I'm sure, that, you know, she ain't about to sit there and do no 99 times. But we we talking about Texas. Texas don't play that mess, right? Texas don't play when it comes to the law. And this is a young black girl as well. So she could seriously be facing some time over this. And what if she had stabbed this young lady and hit you know, an artery that this girl could have bled out. And again, all of this over a dude, all of this over a dude who has very little respect for her in the first place, who's, who never really wanted to claim her up until recently. And um, this story has a whole nother layer because when this whole ha- all thing happened, Kodak Black got into it with NBA Youngboy because I guess NBA young boy felt like Kodak Black was calling him a snitch and, 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 and um, Kodak Black was sending messages and shit. He, he behind bars, he already in jail and he posted Instagram messages and shit like this. And so when all of that happened, NBA young boy took to his Instagram to basically go off on Kodak Black. And it was kind of interesting because he also basically called uh, Floyd Mayweather a bitch right in front of Yaya. And so I just found that kind of interesting that he disrespected her father like that in such a way. And she said nothing, which makes me think maybe there is something else going on between Floyd and his daughter that maybe the public, they, we aren't privy to. But like I said, it's- I ain't never paid attention to a nigga, especially from no motherfucking cell, nigga. The fucking nigga watching me fuck. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say me. Nigga say I cooperated. Bow, bow, pain, bow, 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 what, you stupid bitch? Huh? Bow, 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 my wife? Huh? Bow, my wife say, Ayana, get up. Get up. Come here. You talking about, you talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my house that I paid for? Now her bitch ass daddy, nigga? Huh? And now, bitch ass daddy, I ain't never accepted not one thing from her in my life. Why? Because y'all be playing on me, bitch. Like I, like I need a girl for something. Nah, I give her anything she ever asked me for. I ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pairs of shoes. I ain't, I ain't, I don't think I ever wore, I don't think I ever wore a pair of them bitches, but, but with them black Chanel shoes. Huh? Tell me why this bitch ass nigga spoke on me from jail. Why the fuck you even watching me? You supposed to be a gangster though, but you watching me from jail. Man, you is a bitch. This nigga gonna say, I cooperated with the, I, I cooperated with the police. Man, you stupid bitch. Hey, you lucky I don't want to speak on that. Boy, you better stay in your place. These niggas hoes, man. These niggas hoes. Who you referring to? You referring to my wife? I'm talking about who in my bed right now? You bitch ass nigga. Man, tell your little partner them get at me, man. With your whole ass, nigga. You must be sucking dick back there, man. I don't think, I don't think Reggie would ever let nobody sit there and call her Lil Wayne no bitch and not say nothing. But I think something's going on between Yaya and her father that she kind of just didn't even flinch when he did that. But, you know, it's just interesting to me, to me because Yaya, this is all she's seen from her father, treating women like they're in a harem, having girls fight over each other and stuff like that. So it's, to me, it's not that completely unheard of or unusual that she's acting like that. But here goes the other tree, y'all. This is NBA Young Boys. Because guess what? That's a grown-ass little man over there. That's a grown-ass man over there. And I promise you, I don't want my child running behind nobody, going look for nobody, or none of that. Don't do none of that. I don't want my child doing none of that. But I'm telling this to any motherfucking body that got breath in their motherfucking body. Bitch, if you go at him, and if you go to him, 
bitch. He better let every motherfucking bullet out he got in his motherfucking gun, bitch. And he better reload it and let that bitch out again. Bitch, you fucking go looking for trouble, bitch. You get it. Fuck you think. Yo, big ass can't threaten nobody. Fuck you think. Bitch, you making me feel pain. You wanna fuck me, bitch. So when NBA Youngboy, when people were going off on NBA Youngboy about how he was acting, that was his mama responding to that. So you have, again, the apples and the trees. You have Yaya acting the way she's acting because that's all she knows. She comes from a father who keeps a harem, who keeps women, with women fighting over each other. How he disrespects them and how he treats them. This is what she knows, okay? And then you have NBA Youngboy who speaks the way he speaks. And then when you hear his mother and the way she talks, you understand how both of these kids are the way they are. Like I said, all Yaya had to literally do is wake up and breathe. And she was a rich girl. She had to do nothing. She could have picked any young man in the world that she wanted. And yet she chose this young man, NBA young boy. And you have to remember why she probably chose him because that's what she probably sees in her father. She chose what she knows so much for do as, um, you know, don't do as I do, do as I say so much for that. Okay. But then there's the other part of me where I think to myself, these kids are technically both grown and should we be blaming their parents from, for how they're acting right now? You know, these kids are grown, right? And she made this decision. She made the decision to stab this young girl, right? He made the decision to act the way he acted because he's been in a whole lot of trouble too. So, you know, do the, do the parents deserve any other responsibility of how these things are turning out and working out for both of these kids? I just hate this because again, this is a girl that, that comes from a privileged background and it just makes, it just makes me crazy to see that she's going to throw her life down the drain over this foolishness right here right? Where she could have chosen any other path, but she chose him. But again, I do understand that sometimes we just get attracted to these bad boys, but I ain't about to go and sit in nobody jail cell and do time for no bullshit. I'm just not going to do it. So I do really hope for the best for this young girl. And I hope she wakes up and realizes that this shit just ain't worth it. But I'm also interested if something's going on between her and her father, based on how NBA young boy said that about her daddy and she didn't flinch about it. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, keep watching and see what happens with this whole situation. And I just wanted to touch base on that. But boy, the apples don't fall far from the trees, y'all. That's all I got to say. Um, comment below, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, y'all.